Shall not falter. Highlands right? Then our first destination should be Canbalar. Wow, Gaius. You've really managed to adapt yourself to Olympias, huh? Hmm. Uh hey, Erston. You've really managed to adapt yourself to Olympias, huh? Yes. By posing as the scion of a wealthy family from a remote region of the country. They've taken to calling me the prodigal son down at the docks. You've developed a whole character for yourself. I had no idea you were such a performer. What's a prodigal son? The world is in crisis and you're playing make-believe? Maybe you should take this a little more seriously. Do you agree with that assessment? Indeed. Could a ruler who can't empathize with the lives of the citizenry be trusted in a time of crisis? His ignorance could lead his country to disaster. A world in crisis means people in crisis. So the more you understand people, the better you can serve them. 
So you understand. As a journalist, I represent the common man. <sighs> His Highness really is a great man. Mm -hmm. Al, you're not supposed to call him that. Oh, uh... His prodigal highness really is a great man. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, I was merely noticing the differences between your hairstyle and Prime Mila's. It's hardly a major interest of mine. It simply caught my eye. Ah, the silent stalker type. Stalker? It simply caught my eye. <laughs> Any further insinuations on this matter will be considered a declaration of war. Okay, it simply caught your eye. Gee. I am pleased you understand. <sighs> this guy's even more sensitive than Elle is. Oh, <laughs> 
So this is a fractured dimension. Waymarker response detected. Commence retrieval. There's a waymarker here. What do we do? First, we try to find the thing that sticks out the most from the prime dimension. That's usually the catalyst. Isn't this your hometown? Notice anything unusual? It's as if there's a pall in the air. Well, the first step in reporting is to ask around. It's freezing! Why does it have to be so cold here? You can warm yourself by conserving the energy you use, flapping your tongue, and use it to move your body instead. Must you always say such tedious things in such a tedious way? Then your tedious grumbling makes us two of a kind. You really are a delight. I'm guessing you don't have many friends, huh? Friends? Mm, indeed I do not. That's not true! Weren't the Chimeriad your friends? It's been a while since I've heard that name. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Wingle, Agria, Jow, and Pressa. They were Gaius's bodyguards, and they were all super powerful warriors. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Luger, come on! That was cold, and that's coming from me. Oh, uh... You're still young, your highness. I'm sure you'll make friends one day. You seem like a pretty good guy to me. Maybe I could be your friend if you want. <laughs> that's very generous of you. Think nothing of it. Whoa. Guy is just... Laughed? <laughs> it's just so cold. <laughs> Is it? I find it quite refreshing for this time of year. No way! There is no way it gets colder than this! Back me up on this, Luger! <laughs> no, right? Mine are turning blue. How come His Highness isn't even shivering? Canbalar gets coldest at night. Compared to that, this time of day is quite warm. Colder than it is now? How much colder? Cold enough that any liquids or vegetables that aren't properly stored will freeze solid shortly after dusk. <coughs> and of course, if you wanted to open a window, you would need to pour boiling water on it first. Seriously? But the cold itself is manageable. The big problem is that the fallen snow never has a chance to melt. Snow removal costs the city an enormous sum in both money and man hours. Why don't you just snap your fingers and melt it all away with your magic powers? Because the melted snow would just freeze solid again, obstructing the roads when it does. The problem is not so easily solved. Wow, living in cold places is the worst! Which is why the people here share such a tight bond. That is one advantage no other city can match. The me of this world has already abdicated the throne. So this is what a fractured dimension is like.
See? I knew kings were supposed to be in castles. In this world, at least. This wingle is at the center of everything weird here. Could it be more obvious? Interesting. Can't say I like the looks of that. Not one bit. Disperse. The castle is off limits by order of His Highness King Li Ying himself. Just go home. Nothing good can come from meeting with His Highness anyway. Disperse. You shall not pass. If I fail in my duties, he'll kill me too. Appreciation for swords, do you? This is over a century old, handcrafted by a brilliant blacksmith. Perfection. There he goes again. Didn't know Gaius had this side of him. This city is as tedious as it is annoying. The real thing is actually quite nice, really. <laughs> What's going on here? It's deserted. Has the current king become a complete recluse? Kings in their solitude. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be like this. This is wrong. Why do you vex me so? Who are you people? Wingle? <laughs> More would-be assassins vying for my head. Rest assured, no guards shall fly to my rescue. I'm a lonely king who deserves to die. But first, I will make you rue the moment you dare to set foot in my throne room. Stay your hand. Give us a moment. Mian Li Ying. Bai Yal Ti Din Yuai Kai Ru Din Yin. Ter Ku Rai Yal Lin Yal Yu Din. Jibiti Yayo Li Ying Ki Wung Tin. Ersten? Ersten, you came back. Please. Ersten, try to forgive me. What happened? Must you make me say it? Hmm. It started when you began talking about abdicating the throne and abandoning your people. Why would Gaius do that? Carla was fading. You wanted to be with her at the end. Carla, her illness. Who's Carla? Gaius's little sister. I know that once you make a decision, you never waver in it. So I begged Carla to help you refocus your attention on your kingly duties. She agreed to help, but I... I never thought that she would... To prevent me from going through with abdicating, she took her own life. Hurston, forgive me! I never dreamed that would happen. You must believe me! Please! Her death broke this world's Gaius, and he left the public eye forever. What? 
You're not Erston. I'm not the Erston you know. That much is true. But believe me, I understand how he must have felt. But your tongue! Erston that way was my only true friend. You could never understand him. So the possibility existed for us to be friends. Clearly he didn't feel the same about me. Erston abandoned me along with his people. Why? Damn it, Erston! Tell me why! He's the catalyst! Luger didn't even need to help this time. Are you really up for this, Gaius? This brutality is what it takes to destroy a world, right? How can I presume to judge Luger without first having walked a mile in his shoes? <laughs> now! Thank you.